Hey everybody, what's going on? It's me, Big One with Gaming here. Welcome back to the channel. And if you guys are new, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. It really helps out the channel and lets you know when videos like this go live as well. If you guys like the video, leave a like button down below. Um, but yes, episode number five of our Zero Overall Rebuild. Or uh, Zero Overall Dynasty, I should say, other than Rebuild. I totally forgot, but this is the goals for it. Uh, we need to win two national championships. We need to sign a top ten class. And win three Heisman trophies. Um, that's gonna be a little bit hard, but hey, it's a challenge. We're not, we're not ending the series until all those goals are done. Also, if you guys do want a player in this dynasty, write a comment down below. Uh, name along with the recruit you want. I will show recruiting at the end of the video. I will remind you again uh, at the very end when I do show recruiting and for the players and stuff like that. So far, no one have has been uh, claimed. So if you guys do want a player, let me know. Anyways, on to game number one. We're on a two-game win streak here. We're facing one and seven Buffalo. We have a shot of going three straight wins. They went ahead and pressed up on all of our receivers. We're going to try something. We haven't gone deep uh, at all, really, in this series with press coverage. I know I had B. Don't worry. I'm an idiot. I throw picks. It's fine. You know, we actually throw an interception there, but actually our quarterback forces a fumble, and it goes backwards, so unfortunately we don't the coverage but i was hoping he would get it but unfortunately uh buffalo gets the pick and they will have the ball first and goal from the 10 after two plays and of course then three plays later buffalo ends up finding the end zone for the first score of the game so we're already down seven nothing against a one and seven buffalo team this was our probably our last chance to win a game here Obviously, right here, first and goal from the one. We need to score to tie the game. We chained up changing the play to a dive because I was thinking, hey, a dive will be better. We run up the middle, and it was. O'Malley finds the end zone for his first score of the game. I'll let you know, O'Malley had a game this game, <laughs> like an amazing game. So it's 7-7 tie here, fourth down and goal for Buffalo. They try to kick a field goal, and I'll let you know, these field goals are tough, especially close. And the computer misses, so we get a first and 10 from the 20. So, very, very nice. But third down and nine from the 36-yard line. We need to find something because I want to go up to score or a score. We find Haslam, and he is going to be gone. Haslam finds the end zone for our first passing touchdown of the game to take the lead 14-7 to over Buffalo. However... This doesn't stay for long. Second quarter, 5.15 to go, 14-7 lead here for the Orbits. They run a jet sweep. He gets the ball, and just nobody is over there, and he finds the end zone to tie the game in the second quarter. 14-14 tie going into our next drive. First down and 10 from the 33-yard line. This play has been money for us. For the last three games, we hit O'Malley on the motion halfback swing, and he is going to be gone. His second of the game, first receiving touchdown of the game to make it 21-14 to just before half, which is amazing. Or I guess three minutes to go. But of course, the defense gets burned by a deep ball. We're not surprised. Buffalo ties the game 21-21 with three minutes to go left in the first half. So we have another chance to take the lead just before halftime. With 30 seconds to go, we need to find the end zone. From the seven-yard line, we have all three timeouts. Buffalo still hasn't taken a timeout. Rerun left side, and O'Malley gets his third of the game to make it 28-21 going into half. But Buffalo starts out with ball to begin the second half. They go play action, finds a wide open tight end in the end zone for the touchdown to tie the game to at 28 all. And this is when the wheels fell off. But before that, third or three minutes to go in the four, in the third quarter, we run a jet uh, a toss play. O'Malley breaks two tackles to get number four on the night. This was the last thing that we had. I'll be dead honest. Uh, O'Malley scores the touchdown to make it 35-28. Uh, after that, legit two plays later, um, just a normal run up the middle, and we miss every tackle imaginable. Um, I, I don't even think he was touched 
until – I don't think he was touching that run. But another touchdown for Buffalo to make it a – Big 35-35 game, and fourth down and nine from the 10-yard line. Unfortunately, we couldn't find the end zone, so we do kick a field goal to go up three, 38-35. Unfortunately, that comes back to bite us here later. We get a first and 10 from the 48 after a good stop by this defense. We need to find something. So a run left side, and he fumbles the football, and O'Malley, after four touchdowns, ends up going from hero to goat. Unfortunately. So here, on a fourth down and five, we take a timeout to try to save some time after they kick the field goal off the fumble. With a minute 32, we couldn't do anything on that next drive to end up getting into field goal range. They will end up kicking a field goal to take the lead, 41-38. Now all we got to do is find something. On first down and 10, we fumble the football, and that is would end up being the game. Buffalo would end up kneeling this out to go 2-7, and seven, breaking our hopes for a three-game win streak. Unfortunately, we lose 41-38. A tough game to lose because we had to lead most in that game, especially late, and we just blew it. We couldn't find the end zone late in the game. Um, but, of course, taking a look at the stats uh, To'o To'o had a great game. 354 yards, two touchdowns, only one interception. That one interception was my fault. Rushing-wise, he did have two fumbles, though. He did get sacked twice, and O'Malley with that huge fumble. But three rushing touchdowns for O'Malley and 98 rushing yards. Almost had over 100. We just couldn't rush the ball late in the game just because we didn't have time. O'Malley had a receiving, and Haslam had a receiving touchdown as well. Six for 140 for Haslam was great. Four or five sacks allowed. Godwin allowed three of them. He was struggling on that left side of the line. Uh, Forney had 10 tackles, a couple of tackles for a loss by the squad as well. He also had two sacks. He was really the only one with two sacks in this game. No interceptions, but we did have a couple pass deflections from Cantrell and Iverson in that game. And, of course, the one forced fumble by our quarterback. Yes, by our quarterback was the only forced fumble that we had. But, uh, anyways, we go 2-7 and seven on the season. On to game number two here against Western Michigan. And uh, let me tell you, it was not a great start. A 50, I think this was a 53 yard, or a 52 yard field goal. Um, I suck at kicking, so yeah. So there's that. We're just ignore it. It's fine. That was probably the worst kick of all ever, of all time. Anywho, second down and five here for Western Michigan. Two plays after the missed field goal finds an open man down the middle of the field. We missed the tackle, and of course, he finds the end zone. So it's 7 nothing early for Western Michigan. Not fun. Not great. Not a great start, Captain. Uh, second out of 10, though, from the 25-yard line. We try to throw it, but it gets picked off by the defensive line because To'o got hit as he threw. So Western Michigan has a great chance to find the end zone here and go up two scores. But our defense had something to say about it. We force a fumble. I don't think he... I thought it was going to be picked up, by the way, and ran in for an end zone. I was about to be livid um, after us giving up the pick late in their end zone. But it gets picked up by uh, Long, and unfortunately, we can't do anything. Uh, thir uh, it's a first down and 10 from the 32-yard line. And, of course, broken tackles and no tackles. Ends up finding the end zone for a 14 nothing lead over our orbits. So, but second down and seven. To'o's trying to take off. He gets hit and fumbles the football, but our offensive lineman, Godwin, picks it up and almost finds the end zone. That would have been the most amazing play by a big man so far in this series. But it's first and goal from the three. I was kind of hoping he would find the end zone because that would make an excellent clip. But anywho, O'Malley finds the end zone on the toss to make it 14-7 to seven over, or uh, cut the lead in half to 14-7. to seven. But with two minutes to go, in the first half, um, they we get a roughing the passer call um, here. I thought it was going to be something else, but it was not. Um, but yeah, Western Michigan finds the end zone again to make it 21-7. to With 31 seconds to go, we need to find the end zone and fast. We throw it right side. We get Easter, and he finds the end zone for the touchdown. They end up picking up a roughing the passer call. So it's 21-14 to with 26 seconds to go in the first half. We end up declining it for the touchdown, of course. 
but to start the second half, with 6.41 to go, he finds a curl route that, of course, we tried a, a hit stick, and it was not a great idea. Um, we push him in the end zone for a touchdown. I think it was going to get there either way to make it 21 to four, or 28 to 14 here over uh, our orbits. And of course, it just got even worse. After another stop by the defense or their defense, they find the end zone again um, to make it 45 to 14. As you can see, to oh to oh, we benched them in the fourth quarter. I mean, we we're down 45 to 14 at this point. Um, we end up getting a touchdown to Werlo, um late in this game. That is about it. That that's going to be the final score. It was a terrible game overall uh, for us. Uh, so we end up losing forty-five to twenty-one to go to two and eight on the season. It's going to be a while until we win a Heisman or win a national title. So it's this season is going to go on for a while. We're on episode five, so who knows when this is going to end? Uh, but yeah, looking at the stats of the game. Uh, we had 22 first downs, which was great, but, uh, yeah, To'o, To'o had two picks, did have one passing touchdown, Michaels came in six for nine, 72 yards and a touchdown as well, so not, not too bad, um, O'Malley, 17 rushes, 46 yards and a touchdown, he only had 2.7 yards, but we did not do anything on the ground today, receiving wise, Haslam, eight for 91, and Wayne, eight for 82, so a pretty solid game from them as well, um, Godwin allowed four sacks, but he did have that big play, um, to get near the end zone. So, unfortunately, only one sack, no picks, no deflections. We did have one forced fumble and one fumble recovery. Um, that's about it here for game number two. Game number three, which is game number 11 overall, we're facing Toledo. And this was, honestly, a pretty boring game in the first half. As you can see, we're already up there. They're up 3 nothing. Nothing really happened in this game. I mean, they kicked one field goal, but with 227 left to go in the first half, they find their tight end. He almost dives in for a touchdown. Unfortunately, he doesn't get it. So it's now first and goal from the one. Seeing if we can get a stop here just before the half and try to put up a score to get back in this game. But with first and goal from the one, Toledo just needs to find a singular yard. And with how this game's going in the rain, no one has really done that well in this game so far. But they end up running the football and finding the end zone for a touchdown to go up 10 to nothing. For us, we tried a little lob pass just after that touchdown, and of course it ends up being a pick. And yeah, that's how kind of our, our this game went for us. Um, third down and two, they start running clock. Because they didn't want us to get the ball back with any time left. We weren't going to do anything. They find a zig route for a touchdown. Um, and it's uh, starting to be a route here in Toledo. 17 to nothing here. Second quarter. 40, we're at the From the 44-yard line of their own. They run a play action. We read it all the way. Combs ends up getting the pick. And this might have been the turning point for this game if we had a decent offense. But fourth and goal from the one, Michaels is back in. We bench To'o because we did not, he was struggling this whole game. But Michaels finds the end zone on a QB sneak, and we find a touchdown for the first time this game. So 17-7, to they run another play action. We try to click on with Iverson, just was a little bit too late, and they find a big touchdown right after ours to make it 24-7 to and kind of put the dagger in this game here early. O'Malley runs up the middle and again fumbles the football. Again, and it's still struggling on offense here in the last couple games. But they would put up another touchdown to make it 31-7. to Second down and goal from the four. We don't go down without a fight, though. We hit O'Malley on the, on, the, uh, on the swing pass. O'Malley ends up taking two players with him into the end zone uh, to make it 31-13. to We decide to go for two. Um, it... It, it didn't really end up going well. We got sacked, so there's that. It didn't really matter, but that would be the final score of 31-13. to 13. Um, It was a, a tough game here against Toledo. Um, not Offense struggled. Defense struggled. Um, it, was, it, it, it was bad. It, it was bad. Um, they would end up kneeling here to, uh, to have the win on their belt. They go 6-5 and five to pretty much be... Um, into, you know, 
a bowl game. I don't know why it didn't go all the way down there on the on the kneel. It should have, even though we had only two timeouts. But we're down 18 points, so I, I don't know. We're here for it, I guess. Um, but yeah, a tough game. We only scored 13 points in the second half. Um, but yeah, looking at the stats overall, it wasn't great. Um, To'o went 10 for 14, 93 yards and a pick. Michaels, uh, 13 for 18, 185, a touchdown and a pick. Uh, Rushing-wise, again, not that great. We had 3.7 from O'Malley. We did have 7.0 from Crow, but only on four carries. Um, O'Malley, 7 for 67, a touchdown. Haslam had 7 for 163. Again, Haslam has been one of our better receivers as well in this series so far. Um, But, yeah, uh, uh, Combs had 15 tackles. Our free safety had 15 tackles in this game, which is insane. We did have two sacks, one from Quan and two and a half from those guys as well. Uh, we did have only one pass deflection from Bolin, the uh, sophomore slot corner. One for Sumble, and we did have a recovery from Lemons, but that is about it. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, that's about it uh, from this game. But game, the last game of, this, of the season here for season number three or four um, against Miami of Ohio. Um, this is the first play of the game. Um, and this, yeah. I'm just gonna let you know this game was as well also rough as well. The uh yeah. There he goes. Seventy one yards, finds a touchdown. He wasn't even touched until he was I mean, he wasn't even touched. Seventy one yards for a touchdown, uh, for Miami of Ohio, and this was that was pretty much our game. Um we didn't do anything on offense in our first drive. Their second drive on a third uh third and thirteen, puts up a deep ball, finds his receiver, and yeah, he's gone. Uh fourteen nothing in the first quarter. Miami of Ohio decided to uh, kick our butts. Um, first and goal from the five, though. We end up getting a touchdown by Borrello with the easiest play in the game. Um, so, yeah, you know, we love to see it. Um, to make it 14-7 to here over uh, so with Miami of Ohio, they find a touchdown, legit their next drive to go up 21-7. to Billups Williams just kicked our butts this whole game long. We could not cover them. Um, second down and 10 after a failed fourth down conversion. Uh, they find another touchdown, um, and it was it was a route early on here in this game. 28-7, um, to seven, third quarter, three minutes to go. They end up going long. This time we do end up getting the interception with Lemons, and he tries to take it all the way back. He ends up getting to the around the 40-yard line, even to the 45-yard line, so a great chance at us to you know, have a shot um, to maybe put up a score. We end up running a mesh concept here, and of course, um, our our tight end gets just off his route by our own guy. If that doesn't explain how our season went this year, I don't know what is. Um, a 45-yard pick six to make it 35-7. to seven. Uh, Michaels came out uh, in, this, in this game in the fourth quarter because, you know, we're down... 28 points um, on a first and goal from the six yard line after a good run by him. We had to run the football. All of our backups were in too at this late in the game. Aldrich finds the end zone for a touchdown um, to make it 35, 14 um, ends up being 42 to 14 um, with this game. So yeah, not a, not a great game. I kind of cut out a lot just cause you know, it was, it was pretty bad. Um, it, it was rough. Uh, um, but yeah, uh, 22 for 38 for To'o, 171 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. Michael's 6 for 9 for 73 yards. O'Malley had a decent game, 19 for 74. Um, a good, decent game over on the ground. Receiving-wise was not great. We had a lot of catches, though, uh, but one touchdown from Murillo just because we brought in our backups late in this game um, since we were pretty much dead last. We allowed seven sacks. It was rough. Almost all of our offensive linemen allowed a sack in that game. Defense struggled. Lemons only had five tackles. That was the highest. No sacks. We had the one pick from Lemons, who was a junior at an 84 overall. Um, so, And he's not leaving us, so he's got one more season. So we got one more season with Lemons, but that is about it. But yeah, so end of season number four. If you guys, again, do want to play in this dynasty, write a comment down below. I will get you added on. Um, so far, no one has been claimed. So obviously, if you want Freeman, if you want Sterling, Bohannon, Khalil, uh, Scrogans, uh, Yoon, um, Bogans, Peacock, you know, Lyles, Cole, um, Shakir, either one of those guys, um, you can write a comment down below. 
and we will get you added in. But yeah, that's going to do it for the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'm out. Peace.